well, he's going to make the chase, and Peters gets knocked out. Kyle Busch with this restart on the inside. Haley on the outside. It's NASCAR overtime at Chicagoland. They're formed up nicely on that outside line. A big push, but then Reddick breaks to the inside. Hitrick to second. Here comes Christopher Bell around the outside trying to make something happen. Gallagher on the inside in the 23. Kyle Busch leads. They've passed the overtime line. The white flag will be coming out next, but if we get a caution, it's over. Here comes Kyle through turn four to get the white flag. He has a bit of a bumper. He's got right, Daniel right. Hemrick behind him. One lap to go, the final lap at Chicagoland Speedway. Hemrick taking a look on Kyle Busch. Remember, Hemrick's in the chase. He's going for the win. He's going to draft up on the back of Busch as they enter the turn three. If Hemrick and Bush get side by side, can Haley pounce and go from third to first? Coming through turn four, the yellow is out, and it will be Kyle Bush winning at Chicagoland Speedway. The 98 of Rico Abreu spun, and that brought out the caution. And Kyle Busch will win for the 46th time in his NASCAR Camping World Truck Series career. Daniel Hemrick second, and Cameron Haley gave it a heck of a run, will finish third. You can see the, the look on Eddie Furcona's face, the dejection for the crew chief of Cameron Haley. What a great run by Hemrick late in the going, and that ensured, that win by Kyle Busch ensures Timothy Peters into our chase, and so that look of frustration on Traconis's face is replaced by all the guys uh, that work on Timothy Peters' truck because they were able to rally from a couple laps down, finish inside the top ten. They're ready to go chase racing. A career best second place for Daniel Hemrick. Certainly gives him some nice momentum rolling into the chase, but for Cameron Haley, so close and yet so far. Third place for Haley really got that chance to make that final run and Kyle the way he hoped after that final restart. There was fireworks on the track, now there's fireworks above the track. 168th time that Kyle Busch has gone to victory lane in one of the three major series of NASCAR. So he's, he's, he's used to doing these burnouts. Winning for the fifth time here at Chicagoland Speedway in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Won four times in the Xfinity Series here. He's also won in the Sprint Cup Series. I mean, this is his place. We're going to have to deal with him on Sunday in the chase opener for the Cup Series as well. You know that. You have to deal with him about every time he tees it up. Tip the cap to Toyota, the 11th win of the season for the manufacturer. There's Rico Abreu's flag from his truck, and this is what brought out the yellow of an eye on that 98. Here he comes as Self had gotten into some contact and then came back down the track and got into the right front of Abreu. Looked like at one point Rico had a truck they might could win this race with, and to end it like that was quite disappointing. 